like just less than a three hour coach ride um, pretty much down the coast and yeah I've dropped off my bags but I can't check into the room till later so I've come out to explore but I might as well and just see what's around walking distance and um, it's also a public holiday here in the US so I think some places are closed but I'm also gonna like get back into cooking some of my own food um, to get back into a little routine before I start uh, my job and um, yeah, I think I've got four or five nights here actually, so I could take it slow, like exploring here, um, just to sort myself out a little bit. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try loads of Mexican food here because it's going to be like amazing because it's so close to the border. And I'm just going to go grab some food now. Mm, look at my food. I don't know what my pandas are, but I guess I'll find out. And a salad. I realised it actually says here what, what, what an M panda is. So kind of pastry stuffed with filling. So I went to go cook some food in the kitchen, um, but it turns out because it's Memorial Day here, like a public holiday, um, I think some of the people that work here, um, like they've cooked this whole spread of food, which is so nice, and they were like, oh, just help yourself, so I've just been having loads of nice food, like loads of fresh fruit and stuff, and I've just been like chilling with them all for like an hour, and um, some of the people were like giving me loads of recommendations of stuff to see in San Diego, so that was really cool, and I was, I was telling them about where my job is and stuff and they were telling me some like cool areas near in the area where the job is so that was nice and everyone's like really friendly around here so I've got a great first impression so far and now I've got loads of things to see over the next few days from recommendations from a local so all good so far <laughs> cove as well like some beach caves and stuff and I've just heard some seals or sea lions <laughs> um, so I'm going to have a wonder now but it's gorgeous around here so nice such a nice coastline so it's getting me excited for the next few days and what I'm gonna see so yay yay one in the water just there <laughs> and they're just over there on the rocks there's one in the sea that's just like right in the waves <laughs> Look at the big one in the middle. It's honestly so funny. <laughs> There's like a super, super tiny one just there. There, that tiny one. Oh my god! Oh, it's honestly like a puppy. There's such funny shapes though. Look at them just like lying around. <laughs> This 
this one's actually given birth. How crazy. Oh my god. Where that seagull is. I think it's just given birth. That one is huge. I can't believe it. the babies were just to the left of that big one, just down on the rocks a bit below. You tell the mum that sea lions get protective because she like snapped at a seagull just now. Yeah, I think they've literally been born today, maybe one of them anyway. Baby over there trying to climb up the hill on the left. Look at it. <laughs> Struggling. Oh, it fell. <laughs> Yay, there's some here. I'm obsessed with this part of San Diego. There's just like sea lights everywhere. La Jolla Cove in the water from like every angle when you're walking around. I need to come back here tomorrow with my binoculars. I could just sit for hours and watch them because they're so funny. I love it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so long. It's Wednesday, last day of May, and um, some people at the hostel told me that there's like a nice little farmer's market on at Ocean Beach. Um, so I'm gonna head there today, and apparently it's like a little hippie beach area, like cool atmosphere and stuff. So I'm gonna check that out today. Probably just stay out till probably sunset tonight, and just like keep exploring. I've got my binoculars in my bag today. Getting a picture of your crazy face. Thank you, Father, like Peter Pan. And he got that fire. That is a food that I desire. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I missed the line where he said, cooking up that tofu, this is my food as well. A vegan pad thai. You want to get a free turret? Uh, I have. No, I've not. Oh, nice. So here you go. Okay. Um, ooh, this is your card. So this Ace. is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, so as you see, like, 
maybe you're like manifesting like something in your life right now like you're manifesting like an opportunity or you're like manifesting like just something like bigger than like what you have right now i feel like um i'm gonna pull some extra cards and like i feel like this is like an opportunity for growth too like you're manifesting some growth and like by that i mean like there's some things that you're like ready to just kind of x out of your life just kind of like release them and i feel like it's a good time right now to like get that started and get that done i feel like um you have a good opportunity to just kind of like, I guess like plan some things out too. I feel like this will give you more time and energy and space to like really come to yourself for like more things. But like maybe you're gonna start like introverting your energy a little bit, like just kind of centering yourself. But um, yeah, I feel like it's worth just like letting go of some things to like really like come back to your like, um, more like introverted, more like um, grounded self in a way. But um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm reading here. Just um, new opportunities on the way, just like new things that you're manifesting. Those things that you're manifesting are soon to come. in the area of the gas lamp quarter which is like a cool little area in San Diego so that's cool um, I haven't really explored around here I've just been like getting public transport to different areas so far so it's been cool to walk around here at night time I think it's like bars and stuff it's like a well-known little neighborhood in San Diego um, so I'm just off to get the tram to the border uh, of Mexico 
but people call it a trolley here so I've had to try and change my vocab to so people know what I'm talking about. Back from my Tijuana day trip. I'm just checking out this area now, Chicano Park, which is pretty cool. Like loads of murals and artwork and cactus here and stuff. And yeah, just a cool little place to check out before my last full day tomorrow. And I'm going to try cram lots in on the last day to make the most of my holidays before I get back to work. travels until I start the summer job and I've got a bit of time after the summer job um, on my visa where I'm also allowed to travel a bit of the US um, but the day's here I can't believe it. it's my last day exploring San Diego and also my last day of my holidays before I start my summer job um, so today I've just come to um, Torrey Pines um, it's kind of like a coastal beach area and I'm just gonna do like a nice walk around here because I think there's like loads of hills and you get some good views and stuff so this should be nice and um, yeah it's a pretty nice day today and I can't believe it it's been 25 days now of like just non-stop traveling to different places like doing stuff every day like honestly it's been the best month ever <laughs> I can't believe it and it's 2nd of June now tomorrow I'm getting picked up by someone from my new workplace um, in San Diego at like a surf school thing so I'm meeting them there for a lift up to camp and can't believe it yeah my last day so I need to just enjoy the last bits of San Diego <laughs> to the other side started over there and it was actually really really steep to get down and back up and it was like really sandy rock as well so really slippy not very good grip but I've made it to this side and the views are gorgeous and look at all these paragliders that would be so fun so far up oh, and this landscape like the rocks around here is so strange like here it looks like you could walk across but there's massive like dips and you have to fully go around it must be maybe from where the water's like formed it into that shape all these paragliders though that'll be so fun look this is how you're supposed to get across <laughs> oh my god it's kind of sketchy
are nice around here this time of day. The sun is nearly setting and I'm gonna go see the sea lions for the last time. Been eating my picnic, I really just noticed how gorgeous the sunset is. <gasps> wow, the colour's not really doing it justice right now on the camera. So I came here on my first night, but I'm back here on my last night because I love it so much. I just love that you can see and hear <laughs> sea lions from every angle, and they're like filming in the sea right here, and the beach is right there. And you know, it's just a really, really cool area, and you can just see them like swimming and playing in the sea, and they fully like jump out. So cool. This area is like my favourite. And um, just here for my last sunset in San Diego before I'm heading to my job tomorrow. But San Diego's been really nice actually. I didn't really have any expectations, like I've not done loads of research. I mainly just came here because it was closest to where I was going tomorrow. Um, but it's been really nice, like loads of nice coastal walks, beaches and stuff. And um, I'm glad I got to Tirana. And yeah, it's been really cool. And, uh, do you see a big silky moth in the neighborhood? There's a mama and a baby right here on the beach. Oh. So cute. staying in hostels has come to an end. Maybe not going to miss hostels, but uh, I'll miss the social aspect of it. But then again, I'm going to meet new people at my new job, getting picked up today from like a surf camp at Imperial Beach. And that's where I am for the next two and a half months. So thank you for watching. Um, they've just been fun, fun to document my travels. And I'm going to put some statistics up in the next clip but bye